Greetings and welcome, and before I continue, uh, I am not feeling too well, I'm actually kind of sick, so if I cough or sound, my throat sounds a little weird, uh, please forgive me. But it's about time you showed up. See? I've got this watch, and it says you're late. Now, folks, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, Bag's End. Bag's End. Uh, this is my reproduction of the uh, Hobbit Hole. Um... It's the best I could do with the maps and official information from the book. So please, uh, you know, if it doesn't come up to your standards, uh, please forgive me. Now, the problem with um, using Minecraft <coughs> is that it's all square. I don't mean that, that it's, you know, bad. I mean, it's uh, the hobbits use circles and everything. You know, there's supposed to be a green door with one, one uh, doorknob and all that. Now, the porch... Also, is described as being on a hill, and uh, this is a swamp. Though I think it's more in the spirit because there are mushrooms around the place. And the porch also described at one point. Uh, Baggins actually sat down while smoking, so I got these little things here as um, chairs. Now, uh, excuse me. All right, and uh, I got. See, I'm. Um, this is creatives. Uh, medieval. Uh, texture packs so the paintings actually look like you know paintings this area is supposed to be like an area where you can hang coats uh, there's no coats to be hung but uh, let me uh, put away my uh, my coat yes put a little uh, bench here now the most important uh, rooms are on the left and the least important on the right but I think that's actually not exactly true let me point out for example this is the parlor now the parlor is where you greet to guests oh the mushroom why, why is there a mushroom here yeah now oh, it's because it's growing over here I put a mushroom over here now this is where the dwarves uh, brought in temporary tables and had a party in the hobbit but that's the parlor. Whoops. Why can't I see my hand? Oh. Okay. Well, that worked. Uh, this is the drawing room. Now, the thing with the drawing room is this is where you talk to friends. So, it should be more you know, private, intimate, cozy. It's got the little chairs here. You could, you know, how you doing? Hey, yeah. Mm, yeah. So, actually, that I would think would be very important to a hobbit, uh, a place to talk to friends. Oh, boy, that's just weird. All right, let me get that mushroom. I'm trying to do this with the, out the heads-up display, but I didn't know also that it would... Uh, uh, well, actually, I should keep this for the kitchen. Let me show you the kitchen. Uh, like I said, I have a, a blueprint uh, from one of the uh, books... Somebody took this very seriously. This is the kitchen. And uh, let's put the mushroom in there. And they went through the books and all the material, and they, they basically designed what the uh, place would look like. And now, I close the door. There it goes. Uh, and once again, that's the kitchen. I think that'd be very important. On the other hand, there is the dining room. I made it so it can hold six. See? Whee! And I tried to find, you know, pictures that kind of fit. You know, that's kind of cheerful and a lot of light. The windows are kind of small in these rooms. Uh, all the rooms on the left, as you enter, uh, have uh, windows. Now, over here also on the right, beyond the kitchen, is uh, pantries and cellars, where the food is. And the next room on the left is the study. I gave it a bigger window for more light, so I gave it a, uh, you know, nice, uh, lots of things. Probably push more bookshelves. Once again, cellar, storage room on the cross from us. <coughs> now there's also a uh, sitting room and this is where people could uh, well 
come in and uh, sit and talk and uh, just uh, come, you know, talk about debate the world stuff like that. Maybe have some cookies and apples. Uh, that's the only problem with Minecraft is that uh, there's really not a lot for a hobbit to eat. Poor, poor hobbiton. And uh, once again, that's that's another storage room over there. Now, near the end of the tunnel is where you get to the bedrooms. The, there's the best bedroom over here. <coughs> you know. Has a little music and everything. So, yeah. Uh, nice view. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, I based this off a blueprint I found in uh, one of my books. And uh, here's a bed room also for guests, not one of the best ones. There's also another bedroom over here once again. Uh, nope, but it does have uh, everything you can need except an oven. You know, if you're, you're visiting this place. Now here's the closet. A closet is really just a room to store stuff. So this has uh, trunks. All right. Now there was a uh, kitchen garden. I'm assuming more vegetables and everything than that, but uh, I made a little kitchen garden out here. <coughs> and also there's supposedly a path in front of it, according to the blueprints. Uh, mostly flowers. And you can see, you can see inside. Now, the thing I'm really kind of proud of is if I go up here, I can actually, uh, if I'm careful and not get killed, ah, uh, chimneys. <laughs> when it rains, the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the rain actually gets down there and uh, you can hear it sizzling. It's pretty funny. Well, I hope my uh, throat didn't bother you too much and, uh, Oh look, we're on time. It wasn't that wasn't that long. So uh, thank you for coming. Uh, it might not have been that interesting, but uh, you know, well, you could even see the smoke behind me rising from the chimney. Mm. Oh yeah, and the parlor also had a, a jukebox, but you know. So thanks for thanks for coming along, folks. Bye.